Toggle. Toggle can't wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is new. They have a third person cam. Dude, this game just got so much better. Third person camera. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Jason here with Grounded. This is the first day of actual release. So Grounded is a awesome survival crafting game where you're a little tiny, you're a shrunken kid, almost like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids in a backyard trying to figure out what the heck happened. It's been an early access for, I think, two years. And it is finally out. Finally out permanent release, or I should say actual release. So let's jump in and see what's going on. I did play this about two years ago. I wonder. Let's see. There you go. July 29th, 2020 is the last time I really played this game. I did fire it up this morning to make sure that I could actually uh, capture the game. But yeah, last time I really played was July 29th, 2020. Well, we're going to start a brand new game. Let's jump into it, you guys. Hopefully you guys like the series. If you do, hit that like button. That way I know you guys want to see more of it. If not, totally awesome. You know that No Man's Sky update's coming out pretty soon. So, oh man, who am I going to be? Moderate stress level, magnate, uh, manage thirst, hunger, health, and stamina while you fight to survive. I guess I'm going to be Max. Hey, nice to meet you. Okay, Your nice to meet Max. you. <laughs> All right. Smiles. What the? Okay. Max Real Smiles. <laughs> All right. We're going to start the game. All right, let's do it. Oh, my yard name. I didn't even know. Oh, man, it's been a long time since I played this game. This is going to be Outer Heaven, of course. Uh, then you got. Hopefully, you guys know that reference. All right, well, let's get in here and see what's going on. I have not played this game in a long time, obviously, so I have no idea. Stay tuned for what happens next on Yoke's Girth. Now, a word from our sponsor. Kids, are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing Apricot. It's a what? punch to the gut. So stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. This is awesome. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. Whoa! This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. This is so good. This is definitely Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. 1990. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Such a cool introduction. And as far as I remember, the whole game takes place in the backyard because you're shrunk down and you're fighting like ants and stuff. It's going to be cool. I can't wait to jump in. Oh, it's so cool. I like the cartoon style. Oh. Okay. We're just being dropped in by parachute. Now be aware, there is going to be spiders in this game, you guys. So if you're afraid of spiders, you don't like the look of a spider, maybe this is not the series for you. <laughs> All right, it just opened. Explore your surroundings. Uh, what? Damn. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Are those roots? Nah, <laughs> can't be. This must be one of those, those prank TV shows. Okay, yeah, this is. <laughs> All right, be cool, Max. You're gonna be famous. 
Okay, someone wrote this in 2020, obviously. Prank TV shows back in the 90s? Maybe, but I uh, I don't remember that that far back. The only prank, you know, shows you can consider was like Cops way back in the day. That was the only like reality show we had. Maybe America's Funniest Home Videos, but that wasn't the no, prank no, no, show. No, this isn't looking good, Max. What is going on? You discovered Whoa, baseball? Look at the size oh. of that egg. What the crap? Honestly, I'm just glad it's not big enough to squish it. Yeah. Let's run. I am playing with a controller on PC, because you guys know I'm a controller guy. Slurp that nasty water. I don't want to understate this, but this is bad. It's bad. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Okay, you can throw rocks. Got it. I discovered a peblet. <laughs> Not a pebble, a peblet. I don't want to... Yeah, let me hold on to that. Signal detected. What? What was that? Look at the source. Some sort of radio signal? I wonder where it's coming from. What are you doing, buddy? Get out of here. I, now, I know I'm going to need to make stuff, so I'm going to try to collect... Again, survival crafting, so I'm going to try to collect as well, everything I can. And I don't know if there's a limitation on how much you can carry. Usually, you got to test that out to see if it's an amount of items. Like, you can only carry 10 of each item. Or, sometimes it's weight. Like, you can only carry, like, so many pounds and everything weighs a certain amount of weight. Oh, let's see. Okay, so we get a hot one. Oh. Food. Okay. I don't think you were that hungry. I mean, you just woke up like two minutes ago, but okay. Let's get in here. What is this? Oh, there's a cool, like, science thing? Resource analyzer. Oh, there's bars here. Get these candy bars. Can I search? Nope. I can grab that. Space R safety test. Power fluctuations are within acceptable range. The machine itself continues to operate as expected. Waterproofing of the platform components is holding up quite well. The pylons, however, are finicky or a finicky trio. Maintaining the beam angles requires regular obstruction removal. The yard is simply too alive for precision instruments. Okay. What is this? Offline. Well, someone had to have set up all this sciencey stuff here. Yeah. But still, I'm not exactly sure where this is and what is going on. I should keep looking around. Science! <laughs> Science! <laughs> Brain power? What does that mean? If we can, okay, so you can scan stuff. Do I learn? All right, let's do this. Got grass. Or uh, new recipes. Okay, so you learn different recipes. Okay, and then you only have so many charges. You can only scan so many things at once. Okay. Um, a rock? Let's we'll scan this. Let's see what we can make with a rock. Pebble spear, pebble axe. Got it. Now, let's see what we can unlock with our brain power. Oh, we have the... Okay, crafting unlocks. Got it. We need to get to... Okay, so we need to get to a higher level of brain power. Got it. So that is like your experience. Your brain power is experience. Uh, and again, I don't know. Uh, I need to make a hatchet. Look for more science equipment. Okay. Craft a peblet axe. How do I... Oh, crafting. Since I didn't learn how to do that kind of stuff. Peblet axe. We need a crude rope. Do I make a rope? Oh, God. I'm going to have to make a rope. That way I can... Okay. Let's see. Uh, crude rope. We know how to make that. Plant fibers. Three. Okay. A plant slurry. Uh, blended plant bits. Oh, I don't know if I want to make that. Okay. So now let's make a uh, axe. There we go. Oh, I keep trying to do that. Okay, I don't want to do that. I need a hotkey. Oh, I am playing on PC with a controller, so that's going to be the awkward part. Got it. Oh, 
Toggle. Toggle can't wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is new. They have a third person cam. Dude, this game just got so much better. Third person <laughs> camera. I'm loving this. Oh my God. This is, oh, you know I like third person cameras, you guys. This is amazing. I like this. I like this a lot. Now, let's see how good the game. I mean, the camera feels fine. I love this. Okay. I thought it was only first person. It's a third person. Ca oh. Up to the science wow, thing. What is that? What is that for real? Mysterious machine. Target. What? Well, I don't want to hit that. I guess I do. I have to. Showtime. Showtime. Okay. Oh, just like laser tag. Nothing happened. Looks like the other two lasers are blocked. Okay. After all that build up, this big mysterious computer doesn't do anything. Man. All right, we have to block. We have to chop this thing down. I'm guessing. <laughs> Look at that, it just collapses into the. Oh, this is a good game. Give me that pebble, just in case. Okay, so we got two. And then this one seems to be broken. We'll find out what's weakening one of the lasers. Okay, we gotta go over here. Grab all this. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a. Is there a menu? Okay, there is. Inventory. I don't see a limitation on weight. Like, there's no weight number anywhere, I don't think. So it looks like it's just maybe the items. Like, you can only hold so much. Okay. And it's the only different items. Like, everything stacks. Thank God, everything stacks. Planet Crafter, take a note. I want everything to friggin' stack. Hey, buddy. Clogs now. What the heck? Okay, buddy. Yeah, Planet Crafter. I, I Even if it's only a stack of, like, five, I will take a stack. Come on. We need to get over here. Got these cool little sap things. I'm guessing that's, like, food. It looks sugary to me. Like tree sap. Maybe, like, maple syrup. We can make maple syrup later on. All right. Let's go over here. Oh. What are you guys doing? Doesn't that hurt? Why, why would you stay there? It looks like it hurts. Yeah. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. A lawn mite. All right. These are like little bed bugs. Oh, God. Oh, and you can harvest the remains. What are we doing here? With this guy. Hey. Why are you eating this? Get out of here. Uh, create a fiber. Oh, I don't want to touch it, do I? Eh, maybe. Okay. Create a fiber bandage. There should be, I mean, a crafting menu. You know, it, it, I mean, it, I guess it's fine. Okay. Craft a fiber bandage. Where do I have to put it? Like on, uh, Do I have to craft one for every one of these? Oh, God. Okay, I guess maybe. Possibly. Give me that. We're going to have to find some more of that tree sap. I don't have any... I craft a tort. Okay, like good. That little red thing's itching for a fight. How about not? I can't see anything, buddy. You better calm down. Relax. You don't want to get murdered. All right. Torch. There we go. Oh, I need dry grass. All right. Where's dry grass at? Okay. It's pointing me towards that. That's great. But I'm going to need dry grass. I mean, where the, where the heck do you get dry grass from? Oh, can't get up there. I do love that it has a third-person camera. This is so freaking awesome. All right. Does this dry? I mean, this... Oh, wait, wait. This looks like a dry grass. There we go. Up oh, they're all down there. Do we have fall damage? Doesn't look like it. Okay, good. I mean, maybe, but, you know, not from that far, anyway. Oh, 
Oh, these are dry grass as well. Okay, so anything that does not look green, we're good. All right. That helps. Uh, yeah. So we need to make a, uh, a torch. Flash. Yeah. I get this guy. Hey. I wonder what I can use that guy. For. Oh my god! Jesus Christ. <laughs> I wonder what I can use those guys for after I pee my pants. Alright. I think that's it, right? Oh no no. Gotta go deeper. Get out of here! Oh. Okay, got it. Oh, there's there's a ton of these guys. Okay, I think that's it, right? Grab those. Let's get the machine further. Oh, let's grab these glowing things. I don't know what they are, but they might be useful later on. A moldy snack. Is that what it said? Oh, God. <laughs> All right, we need to turn this thing on. Oh, God, I just threw my thing. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Over here. Grab that. I gotta get used to not using the left and right triggers. The left trigger brings up your menu. But I'm the, not picky. Oh, God. But the right trigger throws your item, whatever's in your hand. And it seems like it doesn't matter. It just throws anything. Any of these rocks. You're a good guy. Get out of here. Oh, find water. I drank water earlier. Am I getting... Oh. I probably need to eat some food as well. You forget about the whole survival aspect of the game. Oh, can I activate it? Oh, what's going on here? Okay, that's bad. I just blew up the tree. It looks like there's uh, bees over there. Did you hear something that sounded like a big far off explosion? Yeah. Investigate the oak tree explosion. Great. Well, I have all these. I need to make some food up. Oh, wait a minute, we have water here. Nasty. Is there any way to clean the water? Has to be. Like, I can make a filter or something. Okay. Let's grab these. Let's see what I can make. Can I make any fiber bandages, grass plank, mite fuzz, slime mold stock? It can probably be used as a light source. Oh, I can make a permanent light source. Okay, got it. Aphid honeydew. Uh, all, I don't know, hunger and thirst. Okay. So is there a way to make food or do I have to go to a... Roasting spit. I probably have to cook some. Okay, yeah. I probably have to make something to cook. Got it. Okay. I gotta make a cooking station. That makes sense. Oh. What was that? You hear that? Oh, it's this guy. Okay. You just sound like a person. Oh, mushrooms. Oh, I need a better tool. Okay, so you can get better tool. Okay, but I have to drink this nasty water. Yuck! Gross. Oh. Need food. Oh, no. eat or die. Oh crap. Well, eat this. Eat the honeydew. Oh, I can use the mushrooms. Okay. Yeah, the uh, bad bad uh, water gives you. Makes you hungry, I guess. Because my hunger went down super hard. Oh, I sh what I should have been doing? Eating the granola bar? Well, I'm going to save those for later. Those are like my good ones. Because I don't know if uh, food goes bad or not. So I don't want to, you know, hold on to a mushroom that's going to go bad in like five minutes. It's a speedy little green corn puff. What the heck? Is something burrowing under there? No. What is that? What is that? Okay. 
Alright, where's my oak tree? Over here. Oh, I hear something. I see a freaking spider. Nope. I don't have anything, so we're gonna wait on that. Is it up here? I'm not going over to that spider. No way. Does it give you a like a way? Hey, green guy. Oh. A clover leaf. Okay. Hey, guys, calm down. Calm down. Oh, he just killed that little bug. Oh, I need a hammer. Okay. Dude, look at this game. This is crazy. Right. Okay, I keep getting that, but I don't know where it is. Where is it? I'm guessing that's where the little, like, little science uh, huts are at. Find clean water. Oh, there's a way to get clean water? What? Okay. Oh, what is this over here? I gotta get over there. I don't want to fight that spider, so we're gonna wait on that. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Is that clean? Oh, it's juice! Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I found some juice. <laughs> the best punch to the gut you'll ever take. Yeah. <laughs> you discovered lemon cream. Oh, is this a big juice box? Got it. Oh, well, dude. We got a juice box over here. I'll take that. We need to make a house right here. All right. I need to take one of these bandages. There we go. Fiber bandages healing me. Okay, good. That way I don't get... Oh! I see pink smoke over here. Okay. Oh, we need a hammer. Okay, we need different stuff. Okay. Different tools to collect different uh, materials. Got it. Oh, there's something... So yeah, it, it pumps up every time we are near something important, I think. This doesn't look good. I mean, I like the purple, but this might not be a good place. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Explore the lab. How is this? How is there a lab here? This is crazy. There was like a whole bunch of people before me that were small, just like me, building all of this. How would you this get all places this? getting pink by the minute? <laughs> okay. I guess he heard me talking. Uh, analyzer. Oh, okay. Getting dark. Should probably find somewhere to crash. Science. Yeah, science. Okay. Oh, I unlocked different stuff. Oh, it automatically unlocks it. Okay. As you scan stuff. Got it. And you don't have to uh, scan multiple the same thing multiple times. Okay. I like it. I like it. Well, we have the glowing stuff, right? Yeah, uh, slime mold. Let's see if we can make a torch out of that. liking it. We don't have any more. That's his next charge at 1700. Oh! A little bit from now. Oh, what is this? Raw science? I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking uh, expanding process. <laughs> Burgle. Please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Oh, okay. that name is going to get tiresome. Burgle, <laughs> Wendell. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle to 
Raw science. Raw science. Order received. Raw science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or g -g -g grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted, according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. <laughs> okay. I need to make a lean to, but there's a thing back here with this. Yeah, activate. Oh, unpowered. Okay, it's not powered. Got it. And I bet you I can't get in here either. Oh, I can. Okay. Oak lab. Oh, look at all this stuff I can get in here. Of course, I'm going to take all this. Wish you can grab all of it. All right. Like at the same time. Oh, there probably is a way, but I just don't know. Oh, there's a lock on this. Okay. Oh, raw science. Embiggening test 45. After successfully mi miniaturizing of a single complex electronic device, test 45 will attempt to shrink one full box of the devices. Upon embiggening, subject will be inspected and tested to ensure proper functionality. Results failure. Miniaturization successful, but embiggening and further testing is impossible at the moment. Subject was confiscated by a curious honeybee. Recovery unlikely. Okay, so a honeybee took his stuff. Oh, dude, this got destroyed. And there's nothing in here. Oh, wait, what is this? Hey, buddy, what's going on? Help, Burgle. We'll get this taken care of. Oh, gotta hold it down. Gotta hold it down. Reboot in progress. Yeah. Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. Okay. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. She has a rainbow mustache. Wait a minute. Having a little peep. Look at his rainbow mustache. It's perfect. I love it. <laughs> I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Uh, sure. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. Uh-oh. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. But not enough to where he can't tell if they're corrupted. He knows they're corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Where am I? You are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tadelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. How come I can't remember anything? It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. Okay, that sounds very, very official, so I'm going to say yes. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent bending. Patent bending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully, your memory will return in time. Dr. Telly is a brilliant scientist and inventor. Okay. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. Okay. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my corrupted memory banks. Well, okay, that's all good. How do I get home? To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. 
I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Well, we can fix it, right? Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea! Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Okay. Processing! Processing! Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. Well, let me Google that real quick. It's, I, I do this for Windows all the time. Arg. I am sorry <laughs> again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Gotcha. Super chips are special, and they are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. There are other labs all over the place, huh? Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Error. Files not found. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks too. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. What is the Hedge Lab? Well, there's a lot of information going on here. Holy cow. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. Oh, no, 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 no. That's spiders. You will find the Hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the Hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> that reminds me. <laughs> Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL Network of Computers 2. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. ASL, American Sign Language. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ch chips and try not to die out there. Okay. <laughs> have an exponentially great day. He is very cheerful and there's so much going on here. Holy cow. Use the biometric scanner. Okay. What is this? Science. Science. Science, you are off the hook. <laughs> you are off the hook. Let's scan my uh my prints. Okay, I think we did everything we needed. Purchase an upgrade at the terminal. Oh, okay. We unlocked it. There we go. Um, let's do this. Holy cow. Smithing station. 100 cooking. 101 is a thousand. Okay. Yeah. So obviously they want you to build a smithing station because it's only a hundred. Everything else is a thousand or more. Good Lord. Cook uh, smithing station. It is okay. recommended choice. I wish I had a thousand. Let's see the burgle quests. Performing diagnostic. Ooh, a thousand. Grave robbery. Find the grave robbery. Okay, ship. We'll just take all of them. There we go. I don't know why you wouldn't take I'll all need of to them. process that. 
That is awesome. Find the gray. I love it. The, the rainbow mustache is his uh, thing. I love it. It's so good. All right, let's see. Get over here. Oh, there's the door. Oh, this is where I came in. Okay. Man, there is so much going on here. Good Lord. Let's get over here. Oh, get out of the way. I guess I need to do this. Clover lean? What do I need? Build a lean to? How much do I need for a lean to? Uh, sleep through the night and you're lean to. Well, I'm going to make a lean to like in here. Can I make it inside the uh, lab? Let's see. Uh, lean to. Oh, we have tons of it. Okay. Invalid. Star. Okay, of course. They want you to be outside. Let's put it right here. What do I do? Oh, you have to place it and then you... Okay. Let's build it. And then use... Uh, sleep for eight hours. There we go. We'll wake up in the morning. Hopefully I don't get murdered while I'm sleeping. A bug comes over and eats me while I'm sleeping. That's not good. And we're going to recycle it. Thank you. Oh, you don't even just automatically pick up the pieces. Come on. There we go. Set your respawn point at your lean to. Oh, I should have kept it there. Duh. <laughs> I need to find some fresh water too. Dude, this game is way cooler than I was thinking. I totally thought this was going to be uh, more survival driven. And there's survival elements, but there's a storyline in it as well. So hopefully you guys like the, uh, the series so far. If you do, hit that like button. Let me know. And I will see you guys in the next episode.